Looking ahead to your evening and the rest of your week, you may want to keep the umbrella close by. I got my big umbrella in the back of the car <laughs> because I've been paying attention to the forecast. Our meteorologist tracking chances of showers tonight and really for most of the week. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Brown standing by to give us all the details. I was about to ask, when is it moving in, Chief? I, I think the radar uh, tells the story. Already, it's uh, right behind you. My yeah. umbrella's in the car. <laughs> oh. At least I have a jacket. Here you go with First Alert Radar. You'll notice that we do have some showers across the viewing area right now. We have some heavier pockets from time to time over areas in Lexington and Richland counties. You'll see that over areas like Hopkins, just north of there, just east of downtown in Columbia. Also, some more steady rainfall toward ba uh, Ballantyne and also Irmo and even Chapin and Lake Murray. A wider perspective can show you that as we look toward Newberry and even Saluda County, we have some showers, a little heavy at times for areas near downtown Saluda. And zooming into Batesburg Leesville, you'll notice Railroad Alp Avenue and even Howard Street seeing some showers over the area. Now, no thunderstorms that we're tracking right now, but this is a steady stream of moisture pushing out of Georgia. You'll see it over Augusta, even Athens and Metro Atlanta. We have a steady stream of moisture that will continue pushing in over the next couple days, and that's going to keep us unsettled. So we have an alert day posted for tomorrow. Also an alert day for your Thursday with rain and even the possibility of thunderstorms as a cold front pushes in from the west. This front will slide southward and bring more showers in our direction as we head into your Thursday. So you'll see the rain chances for tomorrow around 70% up to 80% going into your Thursday. Right now we're calling rain chances for Wednesday around 40%. So here's a look at future cast over the next several hours. You'll notice some showers still over the area and will likely keep some rainfall as we go through later tonight with some pockets of heavy rain. And as we go through your Tuesday, check it out. We will have some showers in and around the area. Could be heavy at times, and I couldn't get rule out maybe an isolated thunderstorm. But overall, you'll notice rain kind of splitting part of the area by the afternoon hours. Then once we go into your Wednesday and Thursday, you'll notice increasing chances of rain from the south. That's around Wednesday afternoon with the long range forecast model, and you'll notice these deeper greens for Thursday, even some yellows there indicating yet that opportunity for maybe a couple thunderstorms, more moisture moving in from the south. So we could see anywhere from about two inches of rain, some estimates even higher than that over the next few days. So for tomorrow, you'll need the wipers on and the lights here and there. You'll see the forecast as well as we're looking ahead through the day. It'll tell you right there by the middle part of the day into the afternoon that we'll likely see well, you'll likely need the wipers on and the lights on. You'll also see your day planner here to have that umbrella handy. You'll see the chances and also with the how about the temperatures in the middle 60s going into the noontime hour. We're forecasting highs on your 10 day forecast in the upper 60s, 65 going into Wednesday, about 55 going into your Thursday. But then we see more sunshine. So we have a few days of unsettled weather before we start seeing more sun. And thank goodness it's falling on the weekend. How about Saturday's temperatures around 57, 61 going into Sunday afternoon. And don't forget to set your clocks ahead one hour before bedtime this Saturday as we begin daylight saving time. We'll be back.